may be expensive, but the world is moving towards renewables. And in the case of Sri Lanka, of course, uh, non-renewables not being uh, locally produced, we also have a import uh, or trade balance problem that is derived from, from the import of petroleum products as well. So as you increase the number of sources of electricity from multiple forms, as has been very ably uh, uh, presented to us and uh, communicated by uh, Dr. Siamala Vidya, you get more volatility and complexity. So what is something that can reduce or can help manage volatility and complexity? Obviously, digitalization can handle that. So the old models that we are still working with were basically designed for big plants. Now, you have uh, entities like uh, the New York Public Service Commission. I won't get into all the details. Um, the, the state of New York regulator who's putting out uh, documents about how to reconceptualize a network uh, that will be more resilient, where we don't think of big producers on one side, big suppliers on one side, and we don't see these fragmented uh, pure consumers on the other side. The whole idea being that you will have more uh, cellularity, so to speak, in a network, and that quite an, or a majority, if not all, of the consumers will also be producers. Uh, but if you don't go that far, we can look at the question of curtailment. Because right now, in a lot of countries, the renewables have to be cut from the system because we need to, as Tilak correctly pointed out, uh, supply and demand must always match. So if you have renewables where the turbine is turning, but uh, we don't need that much of energy. We need to just disconnect them. Now, this issue can be dealt with using batteries. Mm -hmm.